you know what? I'm, I'm just going to skip the introduction. Here's a bit of history. July 8th, 1864. The Shinsengumi managed to stop a plot to destroy Kyoto, capture a very prominent daimyo, and restore the emperor to power. This was known as the Ikadaya Incident. So what's this got to do with this episode? That's the core subject of today's review, ladies and gentlemen. This is Samurai X. Trust, betrayal, reflection. Should I mention that this is part one of a two-part review? Because this is linked to the anime series Rurouni Kenshin. Well, actually, it's part of the Rurouni Kenshin series. In Trust, we are introduced to our first character and the star of the show, Kenshin, who after having his life saved by a six-foot swordsman named Seijiro Hiko, he's taken in where he starts learning Kenjutsu of the Hiten Mitsurugi style. Unfortunately, Kenshin, still being a kid, gets swept up in the romantic ideals of what is now known as the Kyoto Revolution. He decides to piss off not only his master, but he decides to literally piss off to Kyoto, where his talents, through though little, are in fact recognised by a retainer of the Choshu domain, and thus begins his work as an assassin. During an assignment, he takes out, with relative ease, his intended target. However, one of his bodyguards strikes him in the face that doesn't fully heal, thus beginning the origins of his cross-shaped scar. And then the events, as mentioned earlier, begin taking on the Shinsengumi, and during the fighting, he meets a woman named Tomoe, the fiancé of the bodyguard he killed earlier, but Kenshin didn't know that which he will find out in the next part, which is fittingly called Betrayal. How positively Shakespearean. After being sent on his way, Kenshin and Tomoe go into hiding, posing as husband and wife. However, Tomoe's brother, Inishi, has tracked him and her down and informed her that assassins are going to kill Kenshin but she decides to tell her brother to piss off. And that's when she realises she's fallen in love with the assassin. Unfortunately, his lack of insight and perception, he fails to recognise that the guy in front of him has been sent to kill Kenshin. And so the ensuing fight begins. However, Tomoe gets caught in the crossfire and is accidentally stabbed by Kenshin. And with her last few moments, she completes the cross-shaped scar on his left cheek. And so he returns to Kyoto to finish what he started, and then disappears from the pages of history, never to be heard from, for the next 11 years. And that was Samurai X. What's the lesson learnt here? Don't act impulsively, and use your fucking head. I would talk about Samurai X reflection, but I'd be wasting my breath. All it's showing is past events of Rurouni Kenshin and the eventual aftermath of the assassin's life. Married, with a child, and when he returns, eventually dying in his wife's arms. The end. Stay tuned for part two of this little series as we explore what happened after the events of Samurai X, Trust and Betrayal. This has been your Anime Ass speaking. Strange.